Just kidding. I was up already before. <laughs> I just had to do this because it's kind of funny how people go set up the camera and then go lay down and then get up again. So I just had to fake this. But anyways, I was up already. Johnny left already, so I made him breakfast. So anyways, I'm going to make my bed now. <laughs> My house is kind of a disaster. There's random stuff all over the place. My kitchen is not cleaned up. I didn't do dishes last night. I need to empty the dishwasher. I have some laundry that needs to be folded. I just finished my devotion, but I need to finish, um, catch up on my diary. I haven't been writing in my diary for probably almost a week, so I need to catch up on that. There is something that I really have to do while Jumayas is napping. I just put him down for his nap, so, and I, have to get that done before he's up because he's cruising all over the place and I'll show you what it is in a little bit but I'm gonna finish my diary here and then maybe clean up the house a little bit because it drives me crazy I really have to finish that before he's up so let's see if I have a good enough memory to think back what I was what I did a week ago <laughs> I don't know if I can think back that much but I will try okay I just have to clean up the house before I start anything else so I'm gonna try and see if I can do it in 15 minutes or you know what let's go for 15 minutes see if I can clean everything up and make it look a little bit more tidy in 15 minutes <laughs>
My kitchen is clean and I hope it motivated you to maybe start a timer and then just see how much you can get done. And then obviously it took me a little bit longer than my timer, like than the 15 minutes that I had set my timer to. But hey, I got a lot done. I got my kitchen clean up. I got the rest of the house kind of tidied up. I need to fold some laundry yet. So I will do that later because I need to put it in Jemias's closet anyways and he's sleeping. So I will do that later. But the thing that I wanted to do before he gets up from his nap is put the backing on my quilt. So I sewed a quilt a, a while ago and I think I mentioned it before, but I need to put the backing on. I spray that on with um, temporary adhesive, I think it's called, but anyways, I spray it on and then I need to sew the border around it or the binding. So I will get the table moved aside so I have enough room to lay out my quilt and then I can spray on the backing so that it's ready to sew the binding. Very off topic, but do you remember when I cut this tree a while ago, a couple, I don't know, was it a month, a month ago maybe? A little more than that? Look what I just found. Do you see that's gonna be a new leaf and also that, so I'm actually surprised that it's growing so fast. It almost looks like this right there it might also be a leaf. I'm not sure, but these two for sure. It's a very brand new leaf. I'm so excited to see that because I was kind of wondering if I kind of stalled it and it would kind of stay that way. But I'm very happy to see that it's pushing new growth. So anyways, on to the quilt. Look who's up, this little guy. At least I finished like with the backing, but I needed to trim the edges yet. So my blanket is right there. <sighs> oh well, we're gonna try and finish that. Alright, the quilt is straight, I believe, and I have trimmed all the edges, so I think it's ready for the binding, and then I still have to draw something on top and make sure everybody knows how to quilt them at Sewing Circle, but I don't know the pattern yet. I don't know what I want for the pattern for quilting, so I guess... I'll find something out later, but 
at least this is ready and I can put this little guy back on the floor. He did not really enjoy sitting there. <laughs> no, he did not. No, he did not. Oh, love you. Anyways, I'm gonna get some lunch. It's around 12. Actually, it's 15 past 12 already. So anyways, I'm gonna have some lunch with him and hopefully finish it today, hopefully. <laughs> Officially ready to start this process of putting this binding around to finish the edges and it looks a little bit overwhelming to me but I guess if I don't start I don't know how it's gonna go so wish me luck. <laughs> go for a walk. This little guy is quite fussy so we're gonna go for a walk. It's actually pretty nice out today. And do you remember how much snow we had like in our driveway? I'm gonna show you. This is what is left of the snow in our driveway. I'm so excited that so much snow has melted already. So we don't have much snow left. Look, my flower bed. I'm so excited to plant some flowers there. I'm probably gonna redesign it a little bit. And then there's also flower beds here that I'm really excited about. There is something coming up right there. I don't know if you can tell. I don't know if they had anything in here, like perennial type of stuff, but we're gonna find out. I'm so excited once it's nice enough for him to be outside. Whenever I'm opening, opening the door, he just crawls to the door and he just likes to sit right there and look out and he gets so excited, which is, it's so special to see that he gets so excited whenever I open the door. So I cannot wait for him to be able to play outside. I figured I would show you what I do with the edges, like how I finish the binding around the quilt. Maybe some of you will be interested to know how I do it. So I'm gonna try and show you a little bit. So now I'm almost at the corner. So I'm just gonna keep sewing a little bit further. Okay, I'm gonna leave about a quarter inch right there. About a quarter inch here, like that. So I'm just going to turn it around and then pull this back like that and fold it over like that. That way I have a really nice corner whenever I fold it over because later on I fold it over like that and sew the other side. Does that make sense? Anyways, that makes it a very finished nice corner so I'm just gonna finish this here as you can tell the bottom one got shifted a little bit so it's a little bit too long so I will cut that later before I fold it over and finish it completely but I'm just gonna finish this here
little guy just had a bath. I'm working on a salad and I'm going to show you what I made for supper. Editing me here. Um, I thought I took a video clip of the supper that I made, but apparently I didn't record while I was talking to my phone. So <laughs> basically what I had done for supper was I seared the pork chops that I bought a while ago at Costco. I had seared them on both sides in butter and some seasonings. I think I had seasoning salt and then um, some kind of steak seasoning. So I seared them on both sides and then I put them in a glass pan and then I baked them for about an hour and they were really good. So, and then I had a salad and some fries. So just so you know what I had for supper because I can't show you because I didn't take a video, apparently. Wild supper. Wild supper is in the oven. I'm gonna finish the blanket or see if I am able to finish it. And I'm gonna try and show you how I finish the binding. See, I'm no expert in quilting. I learned a little bit from my mother-in-law. But the reason you saw me uh, sewing together the binding because obviously I would never have a long enough piece to go all around it. So I had cut multiple pieces and then as you saw I sewed them like I laid them like kind of across each other and sewed them together and the reason for that is so that I don't have a very thick um, double layer sewn together on the edge. I don't know if I don't know how to explain it. So this is where I have the seam. I don't know if you can tell. It's right there. And then you can kind of tell if I hold it against the light that in the back the seam goes like it's kind of a an triangle shape because if I open it up, this is what it looks like. It's at an angle. I think it's a 45 degree angle. And then and whenever I fold it, that puts the seam in a different place so that I don't have the seam straight because it would be kind of bulky right here, if that makes sense. So it works really well and you can barely tell that it's sewn together. So Because I have to do the same thing once I've sewn it together, like this is where I started and I'm almost finished so I need to do the same thing once I am very close to this part here. And that is always a little bit tricky to me. I don't know if I will be able to do it for the first time because I have to do the same thing. I lay it across each other and sew at an angle and then I have the same results as I have whenever I sewed these together. And then I can finish it very nicely and you can't tell where I started and where I finished, if that makes sense. Where I had sewn it together, but oh well. I don't think you will be able to tell. Okay. So now to figure out which way I'm going to sew over it. I think that way. I'm going to try it because I can always take it out if that's not the right angle because I could sew over it two ways and I'm not sure which one is the right one way. But I'm going to find out. It looks like I made it. Oh my goodness. I did not think that I would be able to do it. But the only thing is I have it a little bit too loose, if you can see. No, no. So what I need to do, I'm gonna have to do the same thing I did now, but take this out and cut it a little bit further and then do the same thing I did right now. So hopefully that makes sense. And once I have finished it that way, I can just sew it together. Okay, the second time I had to do it. Okay, so I took it apart, cut it a little bit more, and then I did it again. I thought I did it the same way, but then I had it wrong, and I did it again. So now it is perfect. As you can tell, it is the right length. I can just sew this, and then it's completely finished all the way around, and then I just fold it around and do one more time around the edge, and it's done. One more thing. If you are not familiar with this walking foot, 
like as you can tell I have a different piece on here most sewing machines have it like it comes with it when you buy a sewing machine and if you want to sew anything that's a little bit thicker like than two layers it's really nice to have the walking foot because it's designed to help you push the fabric through and that helps to prevent it from shifting too much if that makes sense so yeah just thought I'd mention that why I have the walking foot on here and a lot of you who might be professional quilters you might laugh a little bit but that's okay I'm no professional this was actually my very first big quilt that I made I made baby blankets before but not a big quilt and I actually kind of enjoyed it but at the same time it was also challenging because it was something that I never did before and I'm so glad I did because I learned so much and I'm just very happy that I'm almost done with it at this point so but I think I will be, let you go because Johnny will probably be home any minute now and thank you for joining me on my very normal day at home um, I'm obviously I'm not working on the quilt every single day but just doing what I do so a lot of you said that you enjoy if I just film days in the life and that's what I decided to do so so I don't know if you prefer a little bit longer videos or a little shorter 10 ish minutes or 20 minutes I don't know what you prefer usually I think I have footage for 10 15 minutes and then I end up having footage for 30 minutes and I'm like okay what do I cut out or how do I make this a little bit shorter and so I very often I end up with too much footage footage and then I have kind of a long video so hopefully hopefully they're not too long for you but anyways thank you for joining me I hope you have a great rest of the day and I will see you next time oh you're also saying bye say bye bye say bye 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 yeah bye bye <laughs>